If you've made the plunge to iOS 10, you'll notice your lock screen has gotten a major makeover. The good news is you now have more control of what appears on the screen. So let's get started. The first thing you'll notice as soon as you raise your phone is the time and any new notifications. Or swipe down to view older ones, which appear as bubbles for easy access with 3D Touch. Just keep in mind that this information will be in plain sight to anyone, so change your notification settings to avoid oversharing private messages or calendar events. From the settings menu, hit notifications, scroll down to messages, and turn off show preview. You can do the same for emails. Swipe left from the lock screen and you'll launch the camera app for a quick shot. Or swipe right for the biggest change of all, the widgets panel, a blend of today and spotlight in iOS 10 that you can also access by swiping right from the main screen. From here, you can glance at the latest headlines, call your favorite contacts, launch frequently used apps, or get the travel time to your destination from Apple Maps or Google. Select the Show More option and you can see even more information from that widget without ever leaving your lock screen. To customize your widgets panel, just scroll down to the bottom and hit Edit. And here's when you'll finally be prompted to unlock your phone if you haven't done so already. The list at the top shows the ones that are being displayed, while the one on the bottom shows all the apps you can choose from but have not yet selected. Click on the red minus ball to eliminate, or on the green plus to add. To change the order in which they are displayed, press the menu lines on the right and drag to the desired location. Now don't forget to hit done and save your changes, and take a look at your new Spotlight page. If the app you wanted doesn't have a widget to add, you can still access it from the lock screen by using the search bar at the top. And if you're wondering where your passcode page went, you can still access it by pressing on the home button if you don't have Touch ID set up. Looking for more iOS 10 tips and tricks? Make sure to tweet me or check out our full coverage at CNET.com.